hello YouTube and I am not not joking I am actually going to review a mother freaking bell wheel set and it's brand new let me just build it first Now the set all finished, um, let's now go to the minifigures. The only minifigure is this weird looking doll, I'm just gonna say, I did not expect them to be this big, like, here is the actual minifigure for comparison. They're so freaking huge. The hat is, uh, as, as you can see, uh, removable, but putting it on and just, it's just so difficult because you just, uh, the hole is just so, so it's like small, so it's oh, oh, and now and now it's easy, now it's easy. But before I, had, I was struggling so hard. Let me remove this minifigure. The possibility is also uh, is surprising, pretty, pretty good. And, on, and honestly, I, I mean, it's, it's a bit difficult, especially for myself, because I never, never uh, had any of those minifigures. Like I've never even seen one in real life, but. Honestly, it's really, really fun to, pl to play around with this, this kind of stuff. I'm, I'm, I mean, I'm, I mean, just kind of makes me sound like a man child, but I mean, again, I never grew up with these, so for me, it's, it's kind of seeing this is both uh, surprising, but unlike other people, honestly, uh, don't mind it. This kind of looks more like a pre, pre uh, Lego friends. Unfortunately, I don't have a mini doll for comparison, but. Yeah, it's kind of pretty cool, close to that, except those are a bit better because you can actually uh, move the legs. But this can move actually way more, I mean, you can make a, a literal spread. You can move the knees. Like, I remember that all, all the uh, Belva minifigures, uh, by the way, had actual um, movable elbows. And, 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 and I guess because they wanted to, to, to make it feel more like, more like Lego and less like a Barbie clone, they decided to uh, remove, the, remove it. Which I say it's not a bad idea, but I'm not a fan how that's how it's supposed to be. Like they, they couldn't make some kind of way so that they they have the same uh, position as as actual Lego minifigures, because that, that honestly just looks weird. I mean, it looks kind of realistic, but I don't know. But I do have to say though, I, I really I really like the face. Like yeah, it's kind of dead and stuff like that, but. I kind of like, like this one way more than, for example, Lego Friends. Like, I'm sure I feel like this face actually is pretty attractive. But, I don't mind Lego again doing different art styles, so I'd say, again, this looks really cool. And I don't mind it. Then there's the source, and oh my god, the horse has eyelashes. This is why I don't like uh, girl stuff. Like, if you're a woman watching this, do you, do, do you uh, ne never have uh, any problems with uh, animals, for example, having very humanoid uh, eyes that most of the time have uh, eyelashes and stuff like that like is this actually something that makes you know think that's more adorable because i mean i don't want to be, be uh, rude or anything but this is ugly like this is just disgusting like like i i'm i'm living i'm living with animals and i really just prefer when the animals have normal uh, like maybe even like le uh, um, popular lego style eyes instead of this weird thing like even lego friends do that and i mean they kind of st stop doing the whole uh Eyelashes thing for every single animal, so I, I, that's a little bit better. But you could really just use Lego stuff for me. I, I don't know. If you think that's okay, that's okay, please leave me leave a comment telling me because I genuinely want to know. I've never uh, asked any woman about this kind of stuff, and I again, I, I just really want to know. I don't want to be rude. I just really want to know. And this is and this is the, the, the entire build. Surprisingly, for having a very small of pieces. There's still a bit more interesting stuff going on, like for example those uh, good old uh, transparent glitter pieces that are kind of funny how they brought back very quickly for Lego Movie 2 sets and then after that movie this uh, and the movie ended, they just made those pieces just stop exist for some reason, like those colors just don't exist nowadays anymore. It's kind of weird, like why would you like brought them back just to like not, br not continue with them for like a... Uh, Lego friends on Disney Princess stuff, or maybe they do. I mean, I'm pretty sure when I checked the colors, they kind of just said that all of those kind of stopped existing after 2018, which is uh, where where the uh, Lego Movie 2 uh, came out. And there's uh, also a little bit of, bit of uh, actual gimmick gimmick when uh, when basically uh, uh, 
That's not what's supposed to happen. Never mind. The idea was supposed to be that uh, this entire top top part is supposed to like uh, collapse as a like as a like when Shinak's doing doing a uh, jumps with the horse. It kind of just oh, yeah, like this. The, those and they're supposed to be connected only those on those uh, two modified plates, as a, like uh, the friction is supposed to be uh, very loose on purpose. It's kind of interesting idea. Makes it a bit more realistic despite all this uh, all this kind of uncanny stuff. How much pink there is everywhere. Which I still don't know, uh, is this kind of stuff uh, more entertaining for a woman or, do they, or is it just something because people don't know how to uh, advertise toys for women? Again, let me know in the comments because I really want to know. Other than that, uh, there's also, there's also uh, this, this small podium, which basically is supposed to be as a like she... Uh, I mean, I mean, I mean, I'm not going to tell anything what it's supposed to be because I mean, you, you can uh, know what exactly it's supposed to be. Like, like she won and she won... Uh, I guess best horse rider or something like that using this kind of mediocre uh, 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 looking trophy I mean if they use like chrome then of course it would be more dangerous since a few people didn't know chrome paint is not only cheapest very easily but if kids, uh, kids swallow it then they pretty much end up being, being poisoned so I mean they could probably just use metallic or just or maybe stuff like else but this kind of kind of cup as a trophy is kind of I don't know Really disappointing. What's that's funny to mention how they give you almost the entire flower as a spare piece. The book, the booklet itself is also pretty hilarious since it much contains uh, like uh, uh, like nine pages. I, I do say though, it's pretty, it's pretty. I, I really like the background. Something about the old Lego using actual uh, pictures for the background and so just flat color like nowadays. It's something that honestly I appreciate. And another reason why I consider a Lego Belleville 2008 sets to be like the pick of Lego Belleville, like not not amazing, but better than the previous sets, especially especially the giant builds. Like back then, oh my goodness. And also uh, advertisement on the back showing showing at the fun website. What a, what, what website what the website was like? I never even even heard about the Lego Belleville website. But to be fair, every single Lego Lego film had a website, so probably missed 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 out on on, on some stuff. Now, now I'm going on to the box. Uh, on the back, there, there's some some, uh, some different poses. Like, like it shows uh, shows the whole play gimmick with this entire piece and that entire uh, part detaching. I guess I and also I guess Antonia build when she uses those uh, uh, wands as some kind of magic trick. As well as also, as well as here when they when, as we, here when they like use uh, the pillars to I guess some kind of podium. Really, I mean, I, get, I, I do get, say say gold stuff for trying. Overall, as much as people don't like uh, Belleville for being, you know, a different kind of Lego, I'd say I still really like Lego Belleville, especially that 2008, since it's uh, focused less on being, you know, uh, like a Barbie, Barbie clone and being more like uh, like a Lego build with using mini dolls instead of minifigures. Like the like the characters themselves are uh, having a bit more possibility. They still have some interactions with Lego. Like you can still put them on stats and collect them to bars. And it looks sort of, sort of Lego. In the same way how uh, how mini dolls look sort of like Lego, and people don't, don't seem to really mind them. So if you, so if you want to uh, get some of those Lego Belleville sets for like for maybe for yourself or like for your uh, for your daughter, if you even have kids or even have some bitches, I'd say definitely get those dozen A8 sets. The, the previous series were all very fairy tale stuff, which I mean, I mean, I mean, if you like fairy tales, then go ahead. I personally prefer the more realistic approaches, like the 2008 ones, when they were just like normal people doing stuff. And so again, and that's the eight ones in my opinion, that were probably like the best recommendation when it comes to Lego Belleville. And I and I, I can safely say that I give this set. Uh, 8 out of 10. Uh, it's a very small amount of pieces, no much really, really to do, but somehow they still managed to actually give you a lot of stuff to do. Especially with that, with that pretty cool looking minifigure. So, uh, a goodbye, that was my short review, and like I said, goodbye. And also, before, I, before you actually click off this video, make sure to leave a like, subscribe, and share this video around.